Hello guys, it's DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Effect with 1,322 rating versus the War Rock Johnson with 1,091 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and hopping right in, we're going to see the War Rock Johnson win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they will decide to go first, 45 versus 44, opening hands, we have Mikenko Fire Dance, Talents, Thrust, Ceremony, and gosh, I forgot to say this card's name again, uh, Arabesque. Then they have Draco back, Temple, Wright, Sarvis, and Jet. Okay, so they're probably playing Melfi, Sprite, Adventure, and then this is a one of that Herald of Arclight is supposed to be able to search. Uh, but activate Wright, Summon Token, bring out Fateful Adventure, Fateful Adventure effect, go grab Griffin Rider, and then discard Draco back, Draco back effect to equip, and then special summon out the Griffin Rider, and then Temple effect to special summon out. Sure, normal summon out jet, those can make sprint, and then sprint to go dump angler, angler effect to now bring out double beaver, that's good, overlay, make gigantic, gigantic effect, detach, go for blue, blue effect, grab jet, you know, we normal did it earlier, we want a special and then get the effect of it to go search and then grab a smashers from the deck to the hand, overlay into Melfi of the forest and then Melfi of the forest, Go search Caddy, and then we activate Temple, search right from the decks of the hand, and then set Smasher, set right, end phase, bring out Caddy, and then pass turn. They draw Magician Souls, so activate Arabisk onto the token, um, and this is going to try to bounce the token back. Like, it's going to, you know, activate right here, and then activate its effect, and it's going to try to special summon and bounce back. Uh, but they're going to go ahead and Sir Arvis to shut that down. And then activate Thrust, go search Talons, they said okay. Activate Talons to take, they said okay. And then they admit defeat there. That, I'm not going to lie, that was a little bit crazy. But, they played it well. Like, you know, if you Griffin, negate Thrust, you're dumb, you get hit with Talons. If you negate Talons there, you get hit with another Talons. So they just let that Talons go through, and they win. That was wild, okay. On to the next game. We're going to go ahead and see Effect go first. We have Ash, Magician Souls, Hyrie, Illusion of Chaos, and Renaud. They have Ash, Jet, Droll, Sarvis, Angler. Oh, uh, okay. So they're actually playing like multiple of this. Never mind. Because otherwise they may have even sided it out. Um, not sure. But uh, yeah, if it was a one of they wouldn't have drawn up both games in 45 though. Uh, normal summon, special summon, turn those into an assault, assault effect on summon, search fire flint lady, uh, on res, drop draw, assault effect, go dump, dump three, that goes through, okay, I was about to say, no way that goes through, magician souls, go dump, special summon out, then they said, uh... Didn't realize you can send Dia Ballister. You can go, my bad. Yeah, I can send any level 6 or higher spellcaster. Uh, I mean, we even seen a while ago before Illusion of Chaos came out. People would play a few different things for that. Uh, but now they're going to get rid of those. Go up into Selene. Selene effect. Gain counters. Effect lose counters. Bring out the Black Witch. And then Black Witch effect. Go set Wanted. That's fine. Link off into an Appalooza now. And then pass turn. Okay, so Appalooza pass. Doesn't go for SP, decides to go for Apo. Apo is not bad. They draw starter, activate starter, chain ash, normal angler, special jet, jet effect. And then they let it go through there. And they said unexpected. I mean, if they negate it, then they go battle phase beat over, main phase two play. So they're going to let them search Smashers, and then they're going to overlay for Mana King Cat, and then Battle Phase, attack over the Appalooza, and then Main Phase 2, Mana King Cat Effect, Special Summon Magician Souls, Mana King Cat Effect, Target Magician Souls, and then Special Blue, Blue Effect to go search, grab Red, that's good, anything on Res, no Special Red, now they can make a Sprint, and then Sprint Effect to go dump, Yup, angler effect, bring out double beaver, sure, sure. 
uh, overlay those now. Summon out Soul Sweeper, Soul Sweeper, Banish Magician Souls, Set Smashers, End Phase, Wanted Poster, Grab Back Black Witch. Okay. I'm actually surprised to see them on Melfi Sprite. I feel like I've seen a lot of the Sprite players move over to Tri Brigade Sprite. Yeah, I feel like I've seen a lot of them start to move over to that build. It's not bad. It definitely combos off turn one. Pass, draw ceremony. Okay, so how are they going to play this? They're going to go activate special and back out the high re and try to equip that. So special equip, effective go search for the spell, grab out Arabesque, and then battle phase, attack in the soul sweeper. They said think a second here. They're going to go smashers, banish sprint, banish the high re, then activate Arabesque. Chain Sarvis to shut that down. And then Special Black Witch, Send Ceremony, Effect, Chain Sprite Red to Negate and Destroy. And then Normal Summon Fire Flint Lady. Oh my gosh, I also just realized, yeah, they did play into the Anima by summoning it in that zone. It's just like, uh, uh it sucks because we could have played around, uh, but maybe they were thinking about Geo. They wanted to play around Geo, so then they play in the Anima. Um, but I guess, like, technically, the safest place to put your monster is right here in this column, because it dodges Geo and Anima. So maybe they could have put Red there, instead of putting Soul Sweeper there. But now they're gonna go Anima take. But that's also only if they were thinking about the, um, Geo in the first place, which I don't even know what they were thinking of. But, okay, pass to them, they draw Draco back. Oh, yeah, Magician Souls returns. They have... Let's see. I mean, they have, like, n a little bit of follow-up. Not really, though. They said, you got this? Um, wait, do they? I guess it's probably just gonna be game. Yeah, because they have SP, <coughs> like, at the worst. Which is still pretty good. Um, so they admit the feat. Moving on into game three, we're gonna see the War Rock Johnson go first. We got Draw, Fire Dance, Thrust, Lava Golem, Prep. Oh, um, Lava Golem's insane against that deck. Like, almost auto game. And they have Sarvis, Blue, Temple, Angler, Fateful Adventure. But they did also go for Smashers game one. Smashers is gonna help. A little bit because if they go for double cross then uh lava golem would hurt it more but i guess they don't get to go for either because we also have draw okay so fateful adventure grab griffin discard temple drop draw they said that hurts special uh, griffin rider normal angler special blue overlay and take gigantic effect detach go summon out caddy and then link off the Griffin and Gigantic in the Sprint. Effect Dump Angler. Angler goes summon out Double Beaver. Yeah, they definitely played three Star Arvis. I mean, they drew it every game. Or they're really unlucky. Go in the IP. Pass. They draw Talons. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to go Lava Golem over IP Caddy. Yeah, and that's like all their interruptions gone. They could get Fateful to go search. Uh, activate prep, go search out Ohaimi, and then activate Ohaimi effect, go search ceremony, and then discard the thrust, activate ceremony, summon, and then ceremony, banish, go dump, and then we're gonna activate fire dance to summon out, effect to go search, oh wait, that's just game, go search out Arabisk, and then activate Arabisk on the sprint, oh, I guess they could Sarvis this though. That is true. They can service that. Go ahead, shut that down. Wait. I just realized something. It doesn't even matter, right? Because we never use this effect. So we can just use the effect. And then equip. Yeah. Effect, equip anyways, and then just still do it. Yeah, bounce, special. And then, yeah, go search trap. But we can just go battle phase. You know, you take 3,000, you take 3,000, you take 3,000. That's 9,000. That's just game. Yeah, GG's, GG's. Wow, okay, so we just watched McEnko win that game. But, I mean, to be fair, that game wasn't, like, that crazy. Because, like, the draw already did so much for us. 
And then the Lava Golem, like the Lava Golem Droll did everything. Like Droll did so much, and then Lava Golem did so much next. And then, yeah, we were able just to push through. And if they did do anything, I mean, you know, we had our talents live there too because they used Sir Arvis when they probably shouldn't have because it didn't actually do anything. Yeah. Um, I guess it's worth trying and hoping they forget. Otherwise, you, you just lose. Like, super easily. May as well make them remember their effect. But, yeah, pretty sure effect has been on this deck for a little bit now and rated. And, I mean, they've been doing decently well with it. Their rating's 1,339. They probably get a lot of wins from people not knowing what their cards do, too. But, seeing how long the match was. The match was about 24 minutes long. And with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.